Hey to all my, my fellow Minecrafters and Minecraftettes. This is Shin Virtuality with Minecraft. You read the title, you saw the thumbnail, you clicked on the video. What else did you think it was going to be? Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah, we're back with Minecraft. Uh, it's getting late, and it's been kind of a rainy day, so um, let's get rid of that. <laughs> Still rainy! Oh, okay. Not rainy. Uh, anyway, this is getting stuff ready, and I noticed that there was a cow mowing around. So, we got some fence posts together, and we made up a little pen. And probably a good time to start getting our cow farm going, so let's uh, get to doing that. Uh, first off, we did pick up some pumpkins, so... Before we get back to our garden, uh, we'll plant, well, we'll put a couple of them down. We need to get the seeds. And you get the seeds by snipping some. It's almost October anyway, so why not, right? We'll make some jack-o'-lanterns but well, make some carved pumpkins you can make them jack-o'-lanterns by putting a torch in them so we'll do that for one uh, you can even go as far as to there we go I guess I couldn't put two of them up on my head but yes you can actually wear the part carved pumpkin um, it sort of obstructs your vision a little bit, but hey, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it has its uses. Uh, and we're going to make some bone meal. Uh, since we do have some bones, I don't think our wheat is kind of ready to go, so bone meal will just sort of help it along. This is too distracting. <laughs> let's uh, let's take off the pumpkin. It does have its uses, but not exactly for what we want now. Uh, well, we might actually have some full-grown wheat here, so uh, let's get our pumpkin seeds. And start them growing because uh, at least once they grow and start producing pumpkins you can just carve off the pumpkin end and they'll just create more pumpkins so get them going we'll get more seeds down in a bit probably off camera but at least get the bone meal uh, that's full okay I want to get uh, all this wheat going because wheat will be important as far as cows are concerned all right let's start I think the rest can go we'll grab some wheat and we'll replant our seeds at the very least once uh, once the wheat is harvested um, it will give more seeds than it took to initially grow, uh, which is nice. And, oh, well, you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There we go. All right. And we'll let that grow. All right. So, hello, Mr. Chicken. Um, where did our cow go? I was sort of wondering why our <laughs> why the cow was sort of coming into the house fence and exiting. <sighs> At least our sugar cane is growing a little bit, but uh, oh, all right, <laughs> whatever. Um, maybe we'll get some new cows. Maybe we get some cows and they start mating in the pen, then maybe they'll stick around a bit. Because we want them to stick around a bit. Uh, 
All right. Let's see if we can find some cows quickly and uh, actually do what we want to do with them. Where's the cows? Well, there's one cow. Oh, there we go. All right, fine. You got a family. Come with me, cows. Come to the safety of my farm. Follow the wheat. Like two can Sam. Pull your nose. It always knows. Alright. Now we've actually made the pen much. Oh, no, no. we got wheat. We got wheat. Hey, look. We got wheat. Come on. Hey, cows. There we go. Come on, don't get stuck. Come in, go. There we go. There we go. All right, we need, we need our fence post back. There, you're mine now. All right. You can have some, and you can have some. Nope. And we get another baby cow. And thus begins our cow farm. And they need to rest for a bit, but we'll be back. You'll be making me lots of babies. And hopefully they stick around. But we'll see if that uh, happens or not. Since my chickens have stuck around. Okay, let's see if we can get rid of some of this stuff. Alright, I think we're good to go. Cows accounted for. You can have it. Make me more cows. Thank you. Okay, well, the cows are going. So it's good to see. Now you guys stick around. I'll be back. Like I said we wanted to sort of check over. Well, we need to sort of get ourselves. Uh, sort of exploring. I did want to check out the desert. It's about to become night, so maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Ay, all right. Tomorrow. And then by then I can feed my cows again. So we'll wait out the night and go tomorrow morning. I'm good for food. Right, and now I think we can go and explore. But first, I'm not done with you guys yet. Nope. Nope. They are taking a break from the cow making, which is fine. They're allowed. Alright. We saw that the desert was this way, and it was something that looked a little bit interesting. Could be a cliff, but it also could be something more than a cliff. So, let's find out. And if we come across something, perhaps we'll have it meet our sword. Nice little mountain waterfall. But now we have a little bit of a desert. Right, I'm going to pick up some cactus. Cactus is the only way you can get yourself, well, it's probably one of the easiest ways to get yourself some green dye. And I do like me some color green, so. We'll pick up some while we're passing by. And 
we'll take a look around, see if there's any interesting caves. Uh, I want to see if we can get a sort of a bigger cave system uh, to explore and not the wimpy cavey system that I was exploring before. Okay, so there's that rectangular thing. So let's go, uh, let's go wander by it and see. Oh, we got, yeah, we do have something over there. I think. It looks interesting. Let's go for a little bit of a jog. I think we got ourselves a little bit of a village here. Is it a village? No, it might be a temple. Oh, it's a temple. It's a it's a it's a deserty temple type thing. Okay. This will be interesting. Yes, okay. Yes, I've dealt with these before, and anyone who has dealt with desert temples know the deal. So I'm going to mark it with a torch, and we're going to do something a little bit devious here. So um, if you don't want the secret for the desert templed ruin, um, maybe I'll uh, put a timestamp of when I've actually done what I've needed to do. But uh, <laughs> like I said, anyone who sort of knows about these structures, you don't go in the front door. You never go in the desert temple front door. It is a recipe for disaster and uh, one that I'm not going to repeat even if it is for YouTube we do have to sort of get ourselves a little bit underground though so we'll see if we can make ourselves a little bit of here we go get ourselves some solid rock make it easier sound. Don't be creeping on me. You know what I I forgot to make a bed too. Okay, so we have a cave system. I... Oh, I got some more iron. That's always exciting. We need to get ourselves some more iron because uh, as uh, lucky as we were to get the leather armor off that zombie yes, uh, yesterday, <laughs> last episode. Um, it is not a great deal of protection, and we see it. We need to up the ante here before things get oops, before things get rough. that zombie don't you be stepping oh no <laughs> another creeper come on leave me alone leave me alone leave me alone Is it more 
that's more iron. It is. Well, you definitely got yourself a cave system going on here. Desert temple. And a way out there. Okay, so let's grab some of our torches back. Because uh, once we get this iron, I think we're done as far as this section is concerned. Oh, great. One, yes. I like finding the single veins of iron. That's just great! Okay. Uh, we still need to go down. Continuing on. So if I burn through my stone pickaxe and need to go back just to make more of those, I may not be pleased either. I'm not sure how deep I need to go. I know I need to go deep. Uh, but you know what? It may be worth our while. about to hit another cave system. Uh, I <laughs> That's a little bit of gravel that I don't want smacking on my head. So where is... Um, hello? Oh, no, no, no! Go away! lot of gravel here and if you get buried by gravel you suffocate so uh, let's just make sure that uh, that we don't get on the receiving end of that uh, I'm still curious as to why I haven't hit that desert temple yet oh, more iron that's nice Yes, we knew that was coming. All right, every little bit helps. Two iron. Better than no iron. Am I hitting? Oh, I'm hitting.
Hitting call. That was taking a little bit longer. Confused. That's an EXP that's not coming our way. Um, but we also, I, I could have sworn that uh, we have surpassed the temple at this point. So I'm going back. I'm going back because where is. Where is the temple? Oh, it's night two. Ow. To eat. Oh, lots of oh, geez. All right. You know what? We are going to skip ahead and come back here at fresh daylight. Zombie! Ah, uh, no! Leave me alone! Ow! There is a lot of things that want to hurt me. We are not having any of it. You hear me? Creepers and zombies and spiders and skeletons, we are not having it today. Duh. Ah! Oh, jeez. Leave me alone. <laughs> Way you are a meanie. Uh, and then, okay, so hello, you. There was something else. Is it zombies with armor? A zombie with a shovel. Okay. Oh, we got ourselves some villager zombies. We haven't even met villagers, and we have villager zombies! We don't have the means to cure you, unfortunately, so you are going to die. We have ourselves a magical being here. Hello? Who might you be? That is one of the Endermen. They just sort of go around and pick up blocks, and you're not really supposed to look into their eyes, or else they'll get mad. But you're not going to get mad. You want to be my friend. What I want to be friends with? The skeleton. Go away. There you go. <laughs> Bush. I thought it was another creeper. Oh, uh, okay. I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. 
Just leave me alone, I want to be home. Hello cows, hello chickens. I have survived yet another stressful day out in the Minecraft world. So, haha, <coughs> <laughs> serves you right. Ah, my cows. You do well, my cows. You do well. Hello. Are you ready for more? Yes, you are. Good for you. None for you, chickens. Although, easy way to get chickens to... Uh, they will lay the eggs anyway. And if you throw the eggs, it has a small percentage to create a baby chicken. So, <laughs> at least that's one way. Uh, but let's get rid of the cactus. We'll get rid of some of this stuff, and then we'll head back on out. <laughs> All right, we're back at the temple. Uh, this is our front door, and then the center is about 603, 602. Okay, because I was trying to get to that coordinate. Did I just go right under it? It would almost seem like yes, I did. Uh, okay, so let's start here. Since we know the sandstone is there, that should lead us to our temple. Apparently it was over efficient and it just dug right under it. Stone. All right, perfect. Uh, what's after that? Oh, okay. Aha. All right, so there's our chest area. Don't need to go much deeper. Uh, let's go here. We are almost at the prize. But we need to be very cautious. Ah, yep, there it is. That's why you got to be careful here. So, I believe we can just... TNT. Yes, we can. Oh. Yeah, desert temples are very dangerous for this reason. You uh, don't, uh, don't want to mess with them, that's for sure. There is a pressure plate that we'll just set off the entire array and just want to make sure that there's nothing else to surprise us. And we should be good as far as getting the goodies now. So, hello chests. You got a big drop right down to this, and it was probably pressure plated in order to blow up everything. So, aha, lots of bones, some, I got some horse armor. Do we can get 
get a saddle, maybe we can get ourselves a horse very soon. Well, string, gunpowder, and bones are on the menu. Uh, okay. Yep, there's a stone pressure plate. All right. We'll just collect what we can. All right, got a golden apple. That's always nice. Oh, is that an enchanted golden apple? No. Either case, let's get some of this stuff. I'm going to start getting our extras into one chest here and at least make sure we take the good stuff so sand can go in there uh, we're not leaving without the apple or the emeralds another iron horse armor oh we do get a saddle too all right perfect So as far as an early game score, this is actually not quite so bad. Uh, like I said, we'll get some more stuff in here so that we can take the good stuff, which will be that and that. Uh, Dirt in there, and then make sure we take the chest with us as well. All right, looks good. leave the spider eye for now just in case we need the dirt for any building blocks but we'll be back for you again later so awesome glad we found that and we'll cover that in and we'll cover this in because we don't have anything to really worry about now and we'll be on our way again. Days do not last long here, that's for sure. Uh, so we were checking. We did see this in our radar before. Just want to just make sure you're not like a sphinx or anything, are you? We do have an inside, so it may be worth checking out in a later episode. Yeah, getting dark, getting dark, gotta go. I'm kind of full up anyway, so it'd be nice to get home, dump some stuff. Kill some lizard zombies. Oh, my sword broke, go away. <laughs> um, so yeah, those are the desert zombies. Uh, they were called husks husks that's what they were called uh, iron sword bam we got ourselves some better sword there baby he wants to step to me now you want some of this it's it's a quartet An ability hunger okay so what do they just make you more hungry because my hunger level is kind of full so I don't really care about being hungry right now I'll leave them be 
said we were ignoring you. Go away. take creepers out in decent good three hits. Are you worried about getting the skeletons for bones in their bows, but uh, like I said, we got plenty of bones now. But since this one's stepping up to us, let's make sure he, uh, he knows what's what. Jump on the spider too. Ah. Well, at least my cows haven't flown the coop. Hello, my cows. Make more cows. Let's get rid of the next night. Zombie. I cured you of the fire. And something died over here. Just another zombie. Nope, it was a skeleton. Thank you. And I guess we'll have our last we'll have our last beef. But there'll be more. All right, we got ourselves plenty of iron now. Not enough to go full whole hog on our tools, but let us get some protection. Uh, I'm actually going to cut this down a little bit just so that I'm not wasting it. Come on, drop it. Uh, it should be enough for one breastplate, which is what I want. And one set of boots. Okay. And then we can go in. We'll switch out our leather. At least enough to get us some more decent protection. And now we're about half armor. So that's always good. Uh, but we're not doing too bad. Uh, that desert temple obviously helps. Also got some equipment for a horse, so um, it'll probably do us, uh, a f you know, to, to go find a horse, uh, tame it, and uh, yeah, add it to our family uh, as we are sort of now getting some chickens and some cows. Is it feeding time, cows? Cows. Hello, cows. Is it feeding time? <laughs> yes, it's feeding time. <laughs> Another cow. I love my cows. They're so great. Ah, uh,
Bye now. Mm.